<gasps> we have everything set up. The pot fell. Give you a mini room tour now. Hello guys. Good evening. It is currently 7 p.m. It's quite late in the day but I decided today that I'm gonna vlog my week but I also have three packages that I want to open up today because I need to use one of them at least tomorrow before I film a video so I figured we can just open everything up together <laughs> I have my box cutter I have a really bad habit of just like leaving the blade out like this and then just leaving it on the floor i think i just get so excited to open a package that i just like drop it and forget about it kyle gets really mad at me for that definitely dangerous so there we go i got a clothing rack for when i film like fashion and outfit videos it's just like easier to hang up the clothes next to me especially since i'm like changing all the time i got this one because it's super easy to assemble and disassemble the easy disassembly part was like crucial for me because we don't have a lot of space and i don't want to keep this out 24 7 so i want to be able to like take it down when i'm not using it and i'm pretty sure i had one like this back home in hawaii and that one was super easy to put together and then break apart so hopefully this is like that same type of situation This is the worst clothing rack I've ever had. Oh no, look, it's going down. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to figure out what to do with this. I'm getting hungry, so we're gonna eat dinner and then maybe I'll open the rest of the packages tonight. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so it's a little bit later now and we just finished eating dinner not too long ago. So I'm gonna continue to open these packages. I have two more. All I bought was contact paper, like just this skinny little roll and they put it in this huge box So it looks like I got a lot, but really it's just this but anyway I think I want to use this contact paper to turn the shelves here turn the legs white instead of how it's black right now So that should be an easy fix with this And then this package, this is a pretty big one I got these photo frames so that I can replace the ones that we currently have I like these because of the wood trim the ones that we have right now are just like black plastic so I thought this would look a lot better did I get the right size it might be too big oh my gosh hang on okay no I got the right size the posters are 18 by 24 and this is an 18 by 24 frame so we're good okay let's try switching out the frames now okay and now it's ready to hang yay oh it looks so much better so now they're ready to hang so let's put them up okay. 
It looks so good. It looks so much more mature, I guess. Ooh, you can really tell that the command hooks that we used are not level. Yeah, this one is way lower than that one, but it's fine. That's that's my motto. It's fine. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm getting ready to film right now. It is a few days after the last clip. I actually put together the clothing rack and it's feeling pretty sturdy actually. I, I took the wheels off as well. There was just too much going on with it constantly moving so I just removed the wheels so now it's just flat on the floor. And it's staying up a lot better than the first time I tried putting it together. So I'm feeling pretty good about it right now but let me try and put some clothes on it oh my gosh it's like actually staying up this time and it's not falling oh I'm so happy and it looks so good I mean I need to add more clothes on there but I'm loving this like color palette right now but yay I'm super happy hopefully it doesn't completely collapse while I'm filming that would be absolutely terrible but yay happy with how it's turning out now so I guess I'll show you a little bit of how I get ready to film I'm gonna be filming a picnic outfits ideas lookbook kind of thing today so yeah I'm getting all set up now I think I want to move the plants somewhere so let's see hmm not a huge fan of the plants over there. <laughs> I think the black legs just don't match the rest of the scene. I was gonna wrap them in white contact paper, but I didn't get around to doing that. Ouch! <laughs> oh. It stuck my toe on the bed frame leg oh. okay i think i'm just gonna go with this as my setup i have my actual camera that i'm gonna film on here so that's what that looks like hello i decided to switch out the plants on the flower stand Ooh, behind the scenes <laughs> so i instead have these flowers um these tulips at the top they used to be by our bedside in the corner over there but i just moved them to the top because i love the colors and then i put another smaller plant here i believe this is our calathea zebrina and then we have our peace lily so i think that looks good here's the setup I feel like I have my own little clothing boutique with my rack full of clothes. So I am pretty much ready to start filming. I have everything set up. I have my outfits planned out. There's gonna be like 20 outfits in this video, which is a lot. So I hope I can get through all of them today. So let's get ready to film. Hey guys, I am currently lying in bed right now because I was feeling really dizzy and nauseous. I'm like not even halfway through all of the outfits. Pretty much all of the spinning, like walking back and forth, made me dizzy, I think. I get dizzy pretty easily. Like I get very motion sick. I can't go on roller coasters because I get nauseous easily. Just like walking back and forth makes me dizzy like this. What the heck? And say hi to Stitch. I got Kyle a giant stitch tsum six years ago. He was in Hawaii for a long time, but Kyle's mom shipped him up recently. So that was really nice. So now he's just chilling with me. Did you guys ever play tsum like back in 2014? I was obsessed with that game. All right, I'm gonna relax him a bit more and then I'll finish up filming. Hello everyone. So quick update. First of all, let me address what's going on with my face i was filming a tiktok earlier but i only put makeup on half of my face because i was only filming half of my face so half of my face has makeup half doesn't but you know what we're just gonna leave it like that <laughs> i'm honestly too lazy right now to go wipe it off but anyway i got two new packages today and we're going to unbox them and put them together 
together. So this huge one is a shelf that will be replacing this one and then this other box is full of like storage cubes so this is the shelf that we got it's just a shelf with eight cube cubbies and then we also got these storage cubes which are gonna go inside each little cubby and then i'm gonna wrap these black tubes in white contact paper because i just think it's gonna look a little bit better that way and then we're gonna move this to the kitchen so i basically want to just like put all this stuff that's like lying out on the floor right now inside the shell i just need more storage space in this it just looks so ugly and cluttered right now also i just finished filming a lookbook so i still have everything out from when i filmed yesterday but yeah let's start putting this stuff together i think i saw your face in the moon i promise i'll be with you as soon as i find a way up because yeah. you're your father did a kiss on the phone Hey guys, so it's a completely new day now. It's been maybe like a week since I filmed the last clip. So I'm really sorry for the delay, but I wanted to give you a mini room tour now that everything is finally put together. I need to do some decorating, but all of the main like bigger tasks on my list are done. So I'm super excited. So let me just update you on what has happened since the last clip. So I put together the shelf and I organized everything and it's looking so good. And then I also moved out the previous shelf and put that in the kitchen and I'll show you that in a little bit. I filmed my video with the clothing rack and it did not fall. I was so nervous when I when I bought it. I thought it was just a complete fail and a total waste of money, but I just needed to take more time to actually put it together properly and then it works great. So let me just show you what the room looks like now. By the way, I do actually have a full studio apartment tour up on my channel. I'll link it up here or here somewhere on the screen or in the description box and you guys can check that out that was when we like first moved in we've been here for about like a year and a half now not too much has changed so that's why this is like a mini tour but yeah just fyi all right so here is the view of the room from the door i just cleaned up and put away a bunch of stuff so it's looking very very clean right now so let's just start with the desk area so here is my side of the desk got my dirty laptop ew <laughs> got my monitor a little calendar and then a little clear tray for little knickknacks another little organizer for random desk things water bottle stay hydrated and then to the right is our bed of course ideally we would have matching pillowcases but not today i guess <laughs> and then this is my side of the bed so i have a little bedside table this little drawer organizer that i got recently it's from amazon and it used to be like all wood yeah i just used the contact paper that i got from target and just covered the drawers in them it was super easy here's some footage of me doing all of that as well and then a little hack that i did was use a nail file to clean up the edges so that they're all nice and smooth they're not like jaggedy and like uneven definitely want to get either a small like succulent or something or like a vase with a fake plant in there just to add a bit more life to this area because it's pretty plain right now and then i've got this super cute clock i've seen this all over tiktok and i really like it i love the aesthetic i love clocks i love being able to just like turn my head and look at the time instead of having to check my phone by the way i put the clothing rack away like disassembled in the package that it came in this is the one that i got by the way and i can just slide it under the bed and it's like nicely tucked away and then in this corner we have our plant stand super sad update that my monstera died and when i say died i mean i killed it <laughs> so it used to be much bigger like you guys have probably seen it in my other videos it was ginormous but one day I was moving this whole stand and unfortunately my Monstera fell. 
because all of the leaves were like tilting to one side and I guess I was moving it too quickly so the pot fell and it just like fell on itself a bunch of the leaves broke and snapped in half so i had to throw those out but we we're trying to propagate whatever we were able to save we also just put it in this like orange juice container but anyway that's our plant stand got my filming equipment here and then our frames that you guys saw me put together earlier in the vlog i really like how they look look more grown up I want to say <laughs> the only thing is i feel like the wood is a little bit light like i wish it was a little bit darker but it's okay it's good for now and then dun, 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 we have the shelf the star of the show thanks to this bad boy all of the clutter that was around here is all shoved away in these bins <laughs> it looks kind of weird right now because that one has like white in the hole so yeah, these are 13 by 13 inch storage cubes, which is a lot of space. Okay, so I wanted to talk to the camera now. Hello. So yeah, the bins and the shelf were all from Target. I originally wanted to get one from Ikea, the Kallax or Calyx shelf, which is exactly like this one. It has eight cubbies like this, and it is a little bit cheaper as well, and their storage bins are way cheaper they're like a third of the price of targets but the shelf was like out of stock or they weren't able to ship it to our zip code so i just decided to go with the target ones spent a little bit more but i am really happy with the way that it turned out the shelf also was really quick to put together like it took about 30 minutes one thing that i do want to ask you guys though is the shelf is a little bit gray or like a little bit gray it's it's oh hello <laughs> you can see me filming so i do have this contact paper and it's like a warmer wood tone a little bit darker and i was considering wrapping the shelf in this contact paper but i don't know what do you guys think i need your help leave a comment below should i wrap it in this contact paper or should i just leave it i think this color is pretty but i don't know if it matches like the floor and the frame and i don't know uh let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, I'm planning to get a little plant, like a pothos plant. Something that has leaves that kind of drape down. Because I just think it would look really pretty. Plus, I just want to add, I don't know, more greenery to the room. And then on the side of the shelf, I just have yoga mat, vacuum, mirror. Hello, very dirty. I need to clean it. Wall art, air purifier. And now we're in our kitchen. And this is the shelf that used to be in the room but i wrapped all the tubes with the white contact paper it took like two hours which <laughs> was a really long time but i think it was worth it and i also put contact paper on top of this table because before i don't know if you guys can really see the paint was starting to like peel off you can still kind of see it through the contact paper but that's okay just look at it from afar and it looks great so this took about an hour to do and the hardest part was doing the corners but i watched a youtube video that was really helpful on how to put contact paper on corners but yeah that's our updated kitchen nothing super special or different but just more organized so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it it was a pretty long one but I think it was quite eventful we got a lot done the next step i think is to decorate it with more plants for sure so we're probably gonna go plant shopping soon and i'll take you guys along with me give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already turn on my bell notifications so you know when i upload and i'll see you in my next video bye